Residents on Aloof are caught Junkanoo fever as the island recently hosted its parade in Governor's Harbor. And visitors were equally as excited. Eric and Kristen Wagenberg out of New York loved every minute of the parade. I love it. It's great. It's a great festival. We've been having a really fun time. I just think the floats are like fantastic. They're just amazingly intricate and really beautiful and really like well done. You know, and it's really festive, it's really nice. I love the whole fact that the community gets together and I was saying to someone, you know, in New York City we live in the West Village and we have huge parades, like there's the Halloween Parade and the Gay Pride Parade and, you know, every parade's kind of got its own, like, feeling. And this is just so colorful and I love the fact that all the different districts or whatever get together. With hundreds in and out of the area, safety was priority for police. Officer in charge of the Eleuther Division, Superintendent Christopher Wright, says his team ensured the parade was incident free. We have officers on the ground, we have them in surrounding areas, and of course, you know, this is a no bottle zone. And I just say to the members of the public, we have a lot of tourists out here, they are visiting here from various parts of the United States and Europe, and we must ensure that they are safe. So there is a no tolerant zone as it, recom as, 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 as it relates to non-policing activities. Chairman of the Governor's Harbor Cultural Community Organization, Demetrius Johnson, says this parade came about as officials looked to enhance the Junkanoo culture on the island. Well, last saw it's in a glass all by itself, but we as the Luther, we are going to celebrate all we have to do here in Luther, and it's our goal to continue to build this culture. As you see here, you've seen the different groups on every level. We bring them all together, and it makes everybody better at the end of the day. And I believe. As next year comes along, it's going to grow even bigger and better, and perhaps we may even have seven groups or nine groups uh, because we have more settlements now wanting to get involved in Junkanoo. Now in its second year, the parade has already seen growth, with groups increasing from three to five, and it's something BTC fully supports. Find out how the groups stacked up after judging and the role the telecoms giant is playing to ensure this parade continues to be one to watch. C.S. Scatterly for the BTC Connection.